live. Let me know, Christine, while we're here. We're live. Are we live? Okay, good evening and welcome to the Arundel Camera Club meeting for Thursday, October 5th. My name is John Nillikert. I'm the club president for the 2023-2024 season. Uh, we were founded in 1957 and exist to promote the art, science, and education in all aspects and fields of photography. For more information about us, please visit www.arundelcameraclub.org. If you are local to Anne Arundel County, Maryland, we recommend you come out and visit us in person. Uh, we've got a lot of fun stuff. We're not going to be doing a, a proper stream tonight, but once uh, once we finish here, we'll do, uh, kind of go around to some of the setups we have. Uh, coming up next week is our digital contest on the theme of flowers. October 19th is Ryan Maurer with Cave Photography. October 21st is, uh, is that a field trip to Cedar field Creek re uh, the Cedar Creek reenactment? Christine oh, and sorry. I will be there. I goofed that one up. I wrote down the wrong thing. I'm sorry. There is a field okay. trip that day. Christine's brain is melted, and she put our event instead of their camera club's event. So, uh, Ed, where is, uh, where is the field trip on the 21st? It's going to be up in Timonium in the firehouse, and we're going to have all these fire engines with the lights on. It's going to be wonderful. Awesome. That's going to be fun. Uh, and then on October 26th, we have our print contest, and that is the theme of flowers as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. Flowers for black and white. That's going to be fun. And then on November 2nd, we have Matthew Hansen. Matthew Hansen on food photography. Uh, well, tonight um, we have a lot of lighting setups and background set up. All of our models, please make sure to sign a release. Uh, what that will do is allow the photographers to use your image for contests and for their portfolios. Um, but the photographers, you have a job to do as well. Make sure you get the models, the photos, because the model is going to let me know, excuse me, let Christine know, that you sent them some photos for their portfolio, and that's when you get the model release. So we've got to dangle that carrot to make sure you do send some good stuff to your models. Also, as you're working throughout each location, understand how the location works. Um, Mike's here is using a radio. This one over here is using a radio. These are hot lights, and, and Fred's over here is using a radio. Make sure to get the radio, put it on your camera, and shoot. Please shoot one person at a time, because if we have one person with the radio and four people trying to make ambient light work, the model does not know where to look, and, uh, and it causes confusion. So take your turn. Models move around. Photographers move around. And... Um, have fun, experiment, uh, communicate with your models. A lot of, I don't know if our models are experienced or not, but communicate with your models. Show them some of the photos you're getting so they know they know what you like and they can help you out. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we're gonna get Christine to walk around to some of the locations and go from there, so. Hey, Mike, you local to can us, you tell me about here, your... Can you um, tell me about your lighting setup? Sure, I've got an X-Drop backdrop, and I've got a Godux uh, 200 Pro here. It's on a pocket wizard, so other people can uh, trigger it. That's about it. Okay. One light setup. Hi, Diane. Can you tell me about what your setup is? So I've got a hot shoe here, and so that's going to be my key light. I've got a fill-in um, LED. And then I also have some um, real backlights, and I might put up one of those um, behind the screen. So we'll see what we get. Over here is a setup that John and I brought in. We have our Godox. John, can you tell me a little bit since I can't be in front and behind the camera? Actually, these are Flashpoint. It's kind of the same Flashpoint. thing as Godox. It's like B&H's brand, but it's the exact same thing. And Flashpoint actually puts out firmwares a little bit faster. But we have a little Flashpoint uh, transmitter, two basic Flashpoint uh, 200s, I don't know, and uh, in the soft boxes. And uh, this is a brand new backdrop, Okay, but should be fun. Take the whole bag. And can you come tell us about our other setup over here? Yeah. This is another setup that John and I brought. This is a new backdrop as, as well. These are the first times we've these are the first times we brought these backdrops out. But the lights, um, Christine likes this harsh, like this harsh, um, really thin lighting, and uh, and you can use it thin, or you can actually kind of you know, kind of turn it around to, to give you the the depth, the depth that you need and whatever angle you need. But uh, but yeah, just a hot light setup. People are going to be shooting probably aperture priority here. 
Okay. And then we move over here to Fred with our last setup here. You got it powered up. Sorry. And if I use mine on there. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Should. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Fred, can you tell me about your setup? Uh, Sorry about that. You're the last one I have. Okay. What well, we're doing is we're trying to do uh, with the cannon. Uh -huh. We might be switching up, and all we have is two lights. This is our model, and we're going to put them in a in a a, 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 a my brand too. And we just got a straight backdrop. Okay, it's okay. not even my backdrop. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And that's going to be it for tonight. Um, if you are in the area and want to come join us, you're welcome to. Other than that, uh, there's not much for us to talk about online tonight. So. Um, come out and practice and get some good portraits. Otherwise, we will see you next week. Thank you. Goodbye.